Hi YouTubers, this is a video about the Midland G7 and what all the functions are. There you go, the Midland G7. And this is the big box that they come in. Okay. I'm not going to do an unboxing. So I think it's a waste of time to be honest, but I'll tell you what's in the box. Two of these, like so. You get a little charge charging dock where they both sit together like so, charge them both together, and you can also have the rig on while it's charging, so you can listen or whatever. Now you get two belt clips which are still in in the uh, box uh, and obviously the instructions that's pretty much it to be honest but there's a few nice features on these rigs and I want to tell you whether I recommend them or not but I'll probably wait for the end of the video for that uh, although I've still got the box I've had these for some time and these are just one set of rigs that in a long line of other rigs so it's not like on the first pair I've ever bought and comparing them to nothing because of you know if you hit subscribe at some point and have a look at my other videos you'll see some of the other radios I've got in the box as well is two battery packs now both my battery packs are about added and now I'll run mine on rechargeables just get the back off they run on four rechargeables as well I've got high capacity Duracells in mine. Although they will charge on the original charging dock because of the, the batteries I've got a higher capacity than the battery packs, I tend to charge these batteries separate in like quite a high performance charger. But that's just my own uh, preference. Right, let's go through the menu. Yeah, this webcam makes everything back to front. Menus in the middle. If you want to change anything, that's really where you want to get. So, <clears throat> if you're a bit of a newbie to these type of radios, I'm going to state the obvious here. In order for them to work, you both both have to be on the same channel. And mine displays P1. And for these to work, the other one has to display p1 right to change channels but just start at the basics press menu your channel number will flash and as it's flashing use your up and down arrows to change channel okay you've got that now if you press it again you also get the chance to change the privacy codes or ctss codes again both rigs have to be on the same channel with the same code if you've got the wrong code in one you, you get problems okay that's that uh, you've also got a, a call button I'll have to move these away from the PC because I tried this already and it upset the PC so let's just make sure I've, I've been messing about with these in actual fact now and uh, they're both on different channels so I want a bit further away from the rig if you hit the call button that happens it's basically to attract the other users attention and you can, can change the call tone there's five or six and how we use them while I'm pottering up the shed I did have a computer and everything up there. I'd sit out there for hours, you know. You have my other half. If she called me and I didn't hear her because I had my headphones on because I was playing amateur radio, she would hit the call button and it's sort of, you know, it's a bit more, uh, what's the word? It attracts your attention quite nicely. Uh, right, other functions as well is the monitor button. Now that's quite handy, and I'll, and I'll explain why. If you hit the monitor button and hold it down, 
you get that noise, which is horrible. Listen. Why that is handy is because if you're at the extreme end of ranges, at times you'll notice that the other person you're talking to will start going a little bit fading and suddenly bang, they're gone. Well, they've gone below the squelch. Okay. By pressing and holding that button, you if the radio is capable of, capable of hearing the other person by opening the squelch and allowing that shushing noise to come through, you might, there's a good chance you can hear them. Because the squelch on these is not adjustable. No doubt if you buy a set, you'll have to play with that yourself to sort of get to grips with it. Uh, okay so we've done the channel we've done the ctss tone thing the next setting is power you've got high and low power which again is a very good feature because if you're not too far away from the other person with a the radio they might be on the roof adjusting your tv aerial you don't need high power and if you're doing a lot of that type of stuff stick with low power save your batteries so that's a, a nice function. The next function is VOX. Okay, now VOX stands for Voice Operated Switch. And instead of having to press the PTT button on the side, you set VOX. I normally have it on setting two. And to get to that, you, uh, I'll just count the presses. One, two, three, four. It's the fourth press of the menu button. And you've got setting one and setting two and then off and to set that just briefly hit the transmit button and that puts it into whatever you've set same applies to the channels once you've done what you're doing press the button on the side that makes it transmit and it, it sets it to whatever you've done now uses for voxar let's just say like I said earlier, you know, your mates on the aerial, messing about with the aerial, and you'll say, no, that, that, that's worse. If he's hanging on to the thing, if it's a windy day, you don't really want to be playing about with the thing. What you can do is just put it in your top pocket and just sort of say, yeah, all right, mate, okay, how's that now? And you don't even have a hands-free operation, basically. And you can also get an external mic which plugs in the side just there okay although they all look the same if you decide to purchase an external mic tell them what radio you've got because some will fit but they won't work they have to be wired correctly so that's something to look out for the other feature that I found very handy is the vibrate so you go one two three four five and it's the fifth press of the menu button and all you do you use the up and down arrow to turn it on but both rigs have to have the vibrate function on I'll just do that with the other rig as well press the menu button five times one two three four five okay let's turn that on transmit to set it now we're going to keep away from the PC because the last video I tried doing it this I was too close to the PC by transmitting it corrupted the file so I'm not having to start again and how to use the vibrate function just hit that call button again press that I don't know whether you can hear that they vibrate quite strong as well it's a nice feature so again if you was in a noisy environment long as the rigs close to you you know like in the trouser pocket hit the call button and it's a bit more discreet you know rather than all that bleeping going on so that's a nice function so let's go through the menu again see what else we've got Roger bleep on and off. So we'll turn that on on this one. Here's the Roger bleep. 
but you can also turn that off. The idea of the Roger Bleep, but it serves two purposes really. If you want to get the other user's attention, you can just transmit, just press the mic once, you know, the little PTT button. I'm pressing the wrong one. And if it's in the top pocket, all going well, they should hear it. Uh, the other function it, it serves as, if you're talking, when you finish talking, I hear some people on radio say over. You don't need to do that because the bleep lets the other person, the other end, know that you've finished transmitting. So what else we've got on there? Roger bleep off. The next one is a call function. You've got about six. We use that one. So we'll just use that call function again. Now, ah, it don't work while you're both on vibrate, so just bear that in mind. Roger bleep off, cool. The next one says 6p, and that basically turns the bleeps on and off. You know, as you press the buttons on the rig. Box, vibrate, Roger bleep, cool. The next one is like a split channel thing. I've never used that feature to be honest, but that's something you can mess about with. But I will say, after having, I don't know, half a dozen sets of these things over the recent years, these are nice and chunky in your hand. The belt clip, though it's not on, is a good size. You, know, you can get it over virtually any belt, and they're quite a strong clip. Nothing worse than having one of them fiddly, poxy things that your belt's a bit wide you can't quite get it on you just bend down to do something radio falls on the floor uh, what else can I tell you overall they're a nice little rig now a lot of people are more interested in range range wise as with all of these little rigs some will claim 3 kilometers, some will claim 8 kilometers, 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers, 12 kilometers. Depends where you are. If you permanently use them in the same place, and one of you is, say, in an office block on the 14th floor, the other person that you talk to regular is half a mile away on the floor, you can hear each other for miles. Whereas if you're both on the ground and you're in a town, range is going to be dependent on where you are because tall buildings do affect them to sort of sum it up really you could have uh, a five kilometer pair of these radios and be on the top of a mountain and your mate could be on the top of a mountain 10 mile away there's a good chance you two would make some sort of contact particularly if you use the monitor feature was if you had a pair that claimed 12 kilometers and both you're in a town center you might only actually back with each other for two kilometers so don't be fooled by all the claims of like massive distance because all of these are only allowed to use the same amount of power whether they be a tumble safety set or a set like this but as rigs go they, these are a nice set and I'll speak from experience I'm not just literally pulled them out of the box and said I'm going to do a review on these okay, yeah these are really good because they've been out in the field they've been range tested the furthest range I've had on this particular set uh, by road I took a car journey to a hill that I've frequented over the years on all sorts of radio CB radio PMR radio like these and amateur radio as well it's 14 miles there let me just bring myself back online that's it my monitor went off 
how far it is in a straight line I don't know now bearing in mind like I mentioned I was sat on the top of a hill but I managed to speak back to my other half here and I wouldn't say she was booming out but I could hear her so how many miles that is I don't know call it 8 or 10 and uh, if someone was to say I was thinking of buying some would you recommend them I'd say yeah go for it you can plug in an external mic which saves wear and tear on the PTT button because that is something that on all of these type of PMR rigs eventually tend to I wouldn't say they go but you might sort of be chatting to your mate and then let go and you might say sorry I only heard half of that because the switches get a little bit worn if you're going to give them heavy use buy an external mic the wear and tear then goes on the mic the mics are of no 14 15 quid if that wears out bung it in the bin buy new and you know and your rig's good to go so uh, I will put a link up here somewhere to one of my reviews unfortunately the, the review that I've got on video is not from 10 mile away it's from about 3 mile away uh, but these rigs do hold their own I, I don't know how long I've had mine a year, year and a half something like that they're pretty good but I will say the battery packs in these don't particularly last too well and they are modifiable uh, uh, as standard they do half a watt but with an easy modification they will do 3 watts that don't involve soldering electronics or nothing they're not going to tell you how to do that not in this video at least if you google how to modify them uh, I'm sure that you'll find it all the information is out there but what I will say if you modify them remember you've only got four AA batteries in here and at three watts you're only going to have three watts for a limited amount of time before the batteries start going so it's a bit of a trade-off really between having high power and longer range or lower power and longer battery life to be honest these are not modified but I have used modified rigs in the past and me and my mates have done like you know what do I sound like now on this massive 3 watts well not a lot different than what it was before so don't make a huge difference just bear that in mind uh, Maplin sell these Rocket Radio in Letchworth also sell them I'm not connected with either of them I just thought I'd do like a little review because like I said before a lot of the reviews is you know someone opening a box and go oh yeah I think I'd highly recommend these but they've got no experience of using them I don't explain what all the functions are but this is I don't know what the word is really I would say that this particular pair of radios has been tried and tested and been there done it if you like like I say I will put a video up a link to one of my range testing videos unfortunately I've not got the long distance uh, test that I did on video I never videoed it at the time we, we didn't even have the internet back then but if you've got any questions uh, regarding this type of radio just put a comment in the comments box and just let me know what you're going to use them for because a lot of people will be well my mate lives five mile away will I about to wear him what you need to tell me is what's in between how high you are and what not because there's no guarantees for any, any of these radios that you're actually going to work but what I can tell you is if you've got a set and your mate's got a set and you've done a you know hello Burke can you hear me and you've not managed to do it if both of you go upstairs that will definitely help and if the radios you've got whether they're the Midland G7 or any other radio most of them you can open a squelch if you don't know how to do it 
have a look in your books, in your instructions, or, or do a Google search for it. That may well let you, you know, do that. So good luck with it. If you've been thinking of buying a set but unsure, these are as good as any, trust me. And uh, all going well, we'll see you in the next video. And uh, for more videos just like this, uh, hit subscribe. Or if you like the video, it helps the popularity and then other people looking for it, rather than having to go back to page gazillion, hopefully it will make it easier for others to find. So like, comment, subscribe, if that's your thing. If not, whatever, you just wasted 10 minutes of your life. See you in the next video. All going well. Catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching.